Uh, Tony, this next story, you, you, you can't call this sports, hardcore sports either, but it's an important story. Florida State football coach Mike Norvell told The Athletic he had a back and forth individually with each of his players regarding the events surrounding George Floyd's death. Florida State star defensive lineman Marvin Wilson took issue with that characterization, tweeting, quote, we got a generated text that was sent to everybody. There was no one-on-one -on -one talk between us and coach. This is a lie. And me and my teammates as a whole are outraged that we will not be working out until further notice. There was reportedly a team meeting this morning. Norvell has a, a close quote after notice. There was a reportedly a team meeting this morning, Tone. Norvell has apologized, praying Wilson for his using his platform. Wilson thanked Norvell and said, quote, we got what we wanted and we are moving forward. Close quote. Tony, what does all this mean and how is it playing out? So when I first heard about this story, the sort of notion was, does Norvell have a big problem? And my reaction was, the only big problem he's got is where he's going to coach next month. Because this Florida State, they bought out Willie Taggart after two years. They could buy this guy out by 7 o'clock tonight. This ain't Harvard. This is Florida State, and football really matters. And if you're a new coach, and you walk in there, and you haven't recruited these players, you need the trust of your players. You have no standing in Tallahassee. And if your best player tweets out, and I'm quoting, quoting you, quoting him, this is a lie, you are in terrible trouble. But Man. as we saw with Drew Brees, there seems to be a reconciliation among the key players here. And, and Florida State, the, the, you know, Florida State is going to move forward and everything is happy with the coach. But I'll tell you this, Mike, like if, if the players run the deal, I mean, if the coach backs down to the players at this point, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I am saying that he's walking on eggshells until this class of players leaves and he recruits his own guys. I, I, I hope this works out. I'm not as optimistic as maybe you are. No, I don't know that I'm optimistic either. T Tony, at 7 p.m. Eastern time yesterday, Drew Brees had a maybe a little problem. By 9 p.m., Drew Brees had the problem of his life, okay, professionally. He had an enormous problem. And these things unfold in ways we can't always anticipate. You know, it looks like right now that this is a sort of smooth over, but we don't know what every kid thinks. We, uh, you know what? Every, no. every player no. on that team has a phone and access to Twitter or Instagram or whatever, TikTok, whatever social media medium he wants to, to tap into. And so suppose somebody says, wait a minute, this platform isn't big enough. We don't know where the conversation is going, where the feelings are going. There are hard feelings surrounding all of this. And I just wonder, was it a lie? And if it was a lie, how does just saying you have a platform now make it right? I mean, a lot of questions here, don't you think? That's how I feel, Mike. I feel that this guy goes out of his way, Norval, the coach, to tell people what a great communicator he is with his players. And then you find out he sent a text, not necessarily to all the players. He didn't talk to anybody. He sent out a text, and his best player says this is a lie. Now, his best player is okay with this today, but yeah. again, going forward, a first-year coach, you know... He's, this coach has to understand he's dealing with young people who are watching their world go in directions they didn't anticipate. And maybe they're nervous about their futures. And they look to a coach to be a calming influence. And if they think he's a liar, well, what is the long-term future on that? Yeah. Like, I would say That's it's a, no long-term future. Another stay tuned.